Hey, it's Ryan from Muffet Supply, and in this video, we're gonna be installing our Holman rear window screens in our ProMaster City. Let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna be installing this in a 2016 model year Ram ProMaster City. It's gonna be the same for all model years because it basically is the same all model years. Um, and so this is what the window screens look like. We have one for both uh, sides of the doors because you got the rear barn doors, you got a bigger one and a smaller one. We're gonna start here on the smaller one and then move on to the bigger one. Uh, first thing obviously is make sure you have everything that you need. You're gonna have a bag of hardware like this with a bunch of sheet metal screws and some little lock washers in there. Um, and then you're gonna have two window screens. These are powder coated in a black finish, so they're anti-glare. Um, and so first step is no drilling yet, but uh, we're just gonna hold them in place and see where they're gonna line up and make our holes from that. And so I've just got a little Sharpie here. I wanna line this up nicely. Try and get all of the these tabs touching the side of the sheet metal somewhere because when you put a screw in there, it's gonna suck this into the side there. And you know, it may not be perfect um, in every location, but you wanna get this uh, kind of in a good spot where we're gonna put some holes. So I'm just putting a dot everywhere where we're going to be drilling a hole. Double check. Mark once, or mark once, check it twice. Drill once, hopefully. Uh, so there, we've got our nice little black Sharpie marks where we're gonna be putting some holes. And for this, you need a drill with a 3 16 inch drill bit. I have a drill stop on here. Um, Holman doesn't call for that in the instructions, but you know, whenever you're going through metal, once you kind of break through that hole, the drill just gets sucked through. <laughs> I don't want to go through anything that may be in, uh, in the door there. Uh, so I just have a little cheap drill stop right there to keep me from going too deep. I'm going to drill these holes now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got six holes drilled nicely right there. All right, these are just sheet metal screws. They're not self-threading, so that's why we had to drill those holes first. Um, and obviously there's two ways to put a screw in. You can just go ahead and thread it, take your Phillips head screwdriver and screw it in like uh, a common person, which I'll do on these first two. And by the way, use a sheet metal and a lock washer to get these started. So all we're doing is getting them started. Um, and then obviously the alternative is to use a power tool. And you don't want to get these too tight. You don't even want them to pull. You want them to be super loose because you want to get alignment of all of these holes first or else, you know, it's going to tug it in one direction and you're going to lose alignment on one hole. So we're just going through. Get them the very loose. So, you know, I've got a screw in every hole now, so it's in place, we got alignment, now I'm just gonna tighten them all up. Again, don't wanna go crazy on this. I wanna strip these holes out, just a sheet metal screw. All right, good and protected there. Now I'm not gonna be worried about shattering that glass uh, anytime soon. So we're gonna move on to the driver's side now. Okay, second verse, same as the first. We're still gonna just hold this up here, mark it, drill our holes and secure it. So in addition to using a Phillips head screwdriver, you can also use, um, these have hex heads on them as well, so you can swap out for a hex head if you just want to get a little bit better grip on these, um, especially if you're using a power tool. But again, you don't need to go too hard on these. You don't want to strip out the sheet metal. All right, there we go. No more shattering glass. 
Well, that just about does it for the install of these window screens on the ProMaster City. If you're looking for these window screens or any other equipment to upfit your van so that is work ready, be sure to check us out at upfitsupply.com. Again, my name is Ryan and have a good one.